Nickelodeon child stars have revealed damning sexual abuse allegations. Have you ever tried to get your whole big toe in your mouth? limited documentary series, Quiet on Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV, looks at the difficult lives of child stars on Nickelodeon TV shows and the alleged abuse they faced at the hands of acting coaches, directors and television producers. The docuseries examines the toxic environment at Nickelodeon during the reign of mega producer Dan Schneider. What makes it really fun for me working with young people is that it's fresh and new to them. Who created and executive produced hit series that helped launch the careers of stars such as Ariana Grande, Miranda Cosgrove, Amanda Bynes, Drake Bell, Josh Peck, and Jamie Lynn Spears. But many have come out now to reveal the truth about their experience. In shocking revelations, the documentary alleged that Schneider had a close relationship with Amanda Bynes, but it wasn't quite what it seemed. A specific incident that sparked controversy was when Dan masterminded a sketch that had 16-year-old Amanda wearing just a bikini in a hot tub with Dan. He looks so creepy. He looked so creepy. I said something like that to um, Amanda, and then she said something like, I know all about fat and creepy. His relationship with Ariana Grande was weird too, which saw her in a number of controversial scenes. Sometimes I wonder if you can get juice from a potato. <laughs> Come on, give up the juice. But she ignored allegations against Dan Schneider. I'm thirsty. Though no charges were ever brought against Schneider, another predator at Nickelodeon luckily got convicted. By now, you've likely seen headlines about what might be the show's biggest bombshell, Drake Bell. In his first public interview, Drake Bell details the alleged sexual abuse he faced as a minor while starring on Nickelodeon's show, Drake and Josh, at the hands of Nickelodeon dialogue coach, Brian Peck. I was sleeping on the couch where I would usually sleep and and uh, I woke up to him um, I, I just opened my eyes I woke up and he was uh, he was sexually assaulting me Luckily, Peck was sentenced for his heinous crimes but only received 16 months in prison. Earlier, Nickelodeon came under fire after XI Carly Starr. He worked with an incredibly emotionally abusive producer. Jeanette McCurdy released a tell-all memoir that claimed that the show's creator rubbed her shoulders, made her wear a bikini, and had her drinking alcohol all while she was underage. He reaches out and places his hand on my knee. I get goosebumps. You're cold, he says, concerned. I don't think that's why I got the goosebumps, but I agree. It's always best to agree with the creator. Zoe 101 star Alexa Nicholas alleged that teenage female actors would frequently sit on Dan's lap on the Zoe 101 set and protested outside of the network's headquarters with a sign that read, Nickelodeon didn't protect me. I did not feel safe around Dan Schneider while I was working at Nickelodeon. And before long, Business Insider ran a separate investigation into Dan. This time, actor Daniela Monet, who starred in Victorious, claimed that she once expressed concern over a scene that she felt was too sexual, but Nickelodeon refused to cut it. The Nickelodeon TV creator, Dan Schneider, denies toxic workplace allegations. ID is further unpacking what allegedly went down on the sets of these Nickelodeon shows.